Hi, high school. I'm going to do another reading today. I'm going to start with one book that's going to be just a fun one. And then the second book I'm going to read is going to be about a fun animal. So we'll see what I decide. I've got the animal is going to be either snow leopard or about a lemur. So we will see. I'm going to share my screen and we'll get started with our reading. Okay. First one is called Hannah and Sugar. Every day after school, Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop. And every day after school, Sugar was at the bus stop waiting for Violet P. Can you point to the person wearing polka dots? There she is. How many dogs are on this page? One dog. There he is. Every day after school, Miss P asked Hannah if she wanted to pet sugar. And every day after school, Hannah said, no, thank you. What do these kids look like they're feeling right now? Do they seem happy, sad, mad? I see smiles on their faces. So they all look happy, but what does it look like Hannah feels? She said, no thank you to petting the dog. She's got her eyebrows kind of turned up. A little bit of a frown, kind of. She looks kind of scared, a little bit intimidated, maybe. Every day after school, Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop, and every day, Sugar was at the bus stop waiting for Violet P. Every day after school, Miss P asked Hannah if she wanted to pet sugar. And every single day, Hannah said, no, thank you. What is this? It's a little animal that the dog is playing with. That's a snail. What season do you guys think it is in this square? Whoops, a daisy. What season in this square, guys? Fall, probably. What about this one? I see some snow on the ground. They're wearing their jackets and their hats. What season? Winter. All right, and this one's a little bit hard. We'd have to, you know, guess. It's between two seasons here. What season do you think this one is? I see some short sleeves, some short pants, flowers growing, but she's going to school. So it's either, it's maybe fall, winter, I mean, not winter or fall. Those are the ones we've already talk, talked about. Summer or spring, probably summer or spring. I would say spring though. There she is. What does she look like she's feeling now? She maybe looks like she wishes that she could pet the dog, but maybe still, still pretty scared of it. But one day, something was different. Sugar is missing, said Violet P. She's been gone all day and night. No one can find her. Everyone promised to help look for Sugar. Oh no. Violet P, how does she feel? I think she looks really sad. Her dog is missing. Everyone searched high and low and low and high and here and there and everywhere else too. But soon it was time to go home for dinner and there was still no sign of sugar. Can you guys help me count the houses? There are a lot, so this will be tough. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 
14. What comes after 14? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There are 21 houses. Seems like these are all the same houses though, that, but they just get darker and darker. After dinner, Hannah watched the stars come out. She listened to the sound of the trains in the distance and she wondered how it would feel to be lost in the dark. She decided that it would be scary and that if she were lost, she would be sad and probably hungry. Then she heard a strange sound, a little whimper. She tried to see what was making the sound, but it was too dark. It was coming from the side of the house. She heard it again. She crawled in between two bushes and saw sugar. Hannah gasped. She started to back out, but then she stopped. Oh, so guys, what happened? Can you tell? This is Sugar's leash. And it's all wrapped around those branches that looks like Sugar's stuck. What do you guys think Hannah's going to do? I hope she helps. We'll have to see. Hannah closed her eyes and took a deep breath. like that. Then she gently reached out her trembling hand. Sugar sniffed Hannah's hand and rubbed her face along it. Oh, it looks like Hannah is happy now, right? She was able to pet the dog and free it. She took the leash off. Hannah's papa was very proud of her, and Violet P and Mr. and Mrs. P were so happy to see Sugar. This is emotional, guys. They look very happy, right? After that, every day after school, Hannah's papa picked her up at the bus stop. And every day after school, Sugar was at the bus stop waiting for Violet P. And for Hannah, too. That's amazing. So she overcame her fear of that dog. And the dog was sweet the whole time. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little book. So now I'm going to read about, we'll read about snow leopards. Snow leopards. A snow leopard. She wanders rocky ridges where sprouts push from unlikely cracks. She crosses sun dappled ravines, laps at trickles of melting snow, and explores dewy meadows buzzing with life. Can you say snow leopard? Snow leopard. Will you point to the snow leopard? Point to the snow leopard, there he is. What's she looking for? A den. She finds a hidden place, protected from icy winds and swirling snow. Here, she'll give birth to two or three cubs. How many cubs are on this page? If you're counting this one and these two, let's count. One, two, three. I see three snow leopard cubs. Nuzzle. Mom stays close to the cubs, stays close so the cubs know they're safe. Newborns are born with their eyes closed, too weak to move around much. But a week or so later, good morning world. The water closed 
when the baby snow leopard cubs are born. The snow leopard cubs' eyes are closed when they're born. <clears throat> Special cats. Most big cats have yellow or gold eyes. A snow leopard's eyes are gray or pale green. Most big cats roar. Snow leopards cannot. Instead, they growl, hiss, mew, moan, purr, and yowl. That's a lot of sounds. They also make a puffing sound called a chuff. What do you guys think that sounds like? A puffing sound? <laughs> Maybe that? That's my guess. I'm not sure. So there's a lot of different kinds of big cats. We have a regular leopard, not a snow leopard. We have a Bengal tiger, African lion, a mountain lion. They can all growl, but a snow leopard hisses. Can we try to hiss? Or we can go. Very little face, wow. Pounce. After two months in the den, cubs are ready to play. They roll and tumble and bat at each other. By late summer, the cubs are following their mom everywhere, learning every nook and cranny of their rocky neighborhood. Oh, what's happening with these two? They are fighting, these baby cubs are fighting. Kind of looks like it's all in good fun though. Snow leopards like to be up high where they can see a long way. Ah, a rocky outcropping is a great place to perch in the sun. But if mom sees a plump marmot, she's more than happy to chase it through tall grasses along a stream down a snowy slope where growing cubs need to eat. Look at that big fluffy tail. That's pretty, pretty cool. What's for lunch? Snow leopards are meat eaters. They will feast on a wild sheep or a goat for a week. So do snow leopards like salad then? You think they like a salad? I don't think so. They like wild sheep or goat or some kind of meat. We talked about a marmot, that's a little little animal. Also on the menu are smaller animals like marmots, there we go, that's a marmot. Pikas, that's a pika. Hares and snow and birds. Snow leopards eat grass and twigs too, okay. Cold autumn nights turn mountain grasses dry and brittle. Wild sheep and goats move down the mountain for the winter. Snow leopards follow. Next year, the cubs will begin hunting. For now, as they watch mom sneak after her prey, they are learning. They're watching and learning what their mom does. Looks like she's about to pounce, I think. Blustery days, freezing nights, mountain winters are harsh. Snow leopards must seek shelter from icy winds and howling blizzards. Frosty nights, extra thick fur keeps snow leopards warm. Long tails curl around to cover tender noses. Nighty night. What warms you on a cold night? What do you put over yourself to warm up on a cold night? Or maybe a blanket? Look at their furry little paws. There we go. Growl. Vultures and ravens trying to steal a snow leopard's food soon find out that these cuddly looking cats can be fierce fighters, especially if a mom thinks her cubs are in danger, then watch out. Look at those pointy teeth. Looks defensive. Cubs stay with their mom for nearly two years. 
She won't have more cubs until these are grown and gone. When the young snow leopards are finally grown, they leave. Each must find a new neighborhood or territory to call its own. Leap, snow leopard. Live strong and free in your new hunting grounds. Where do they live? It looks like snow leopards live in this red part in the mountains of Asia. So we can find the paws on the snow leopard. Can you point to the paws? So there's a paw. They have four paws. Can you point to a tail on the snow leopard? Whoopsies. Point to the tail. Can you point to the snow leopard's ears? They're on top of his head. Right here. All right, guys. Thank you for participating and learning about snow leopards. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye high school. See ya.